Lone Star, I'm here PS3 updating lol. what up geez can you guys hear me okay um this is the first time i'm trying to set up the studio here i'm still messing around with it but uh i got these two cameras here one overhead and we're gonna try to fix it up as we go along i know probably the audio might be too loud or something but if you guys can hear me let me know i got two cameras today i'm gonna work with it um we're gonna open some stuff up and i, I, mean, I got some exciting things going on right now in the background I'm working on two items that are really exciting. I'm going to give you a little demo of what, one of them. I'm not going to open, I'm not going to turn it on today, but you guys know the Intel Nuke. This is a really great machine. Uh, uh, this is, this is, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to do the, the reviews on it. Uh, one of the hardest machines to actually take apart, to be honest with you. I can, I kind of, I never gave up on taking things apart, but this one, whoo, it kind of beat me to it. So um we're gonna take a look at it and uh, some other time we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about beatness so if you guys could say can you guys hear me is it too loud i think it's too loud maybe i've been hearing the red or we're gonna get the show started so are you guys able to hear me somebody say yeah or something anything type it in i could hear it i could type it let me put it over here let me put the condoms in here sorry about this thing all right let me go there we go. So if you guys can hear me. All right. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So this is what we're going to do first of all. We're going to open the cheapest to the most expensive stuff. All right. And I think I spent too much money today. I came back home. My wife's like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? I'm like, hey, man, you can't, you can't put a price on memory. You can't. So let's start first of all for old stuff first, right? Uh, something cheap, inexpensive stuff. They have these five dollars, ten buck boxes, and this is new. This is still in the market. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's I, I saw it. I wasn't gonna buy it, but when they put a price like ten bucks, five bucks, why not? So I bought this one first. Ugly ass mofo. His name is Stagger. Code name Stagger. Can I see him. <laughs> I think it was like ten bucks or something like that. Fifteen bucks or something like that. So I bought Stagger, you know, because I'm going to give it to him when he, in his birthday. So this guy looks exactly like the like Stagger. Nothing nothing fancy about him. It's just a Star Wars figure. Um, very simple. Put that sucker on the side. I don't even want to open him. Uh, oh, man, I'm just... 
<laughs> so I did buy a couple of things. Let me put them all here on this table. They have these dollar boxes, and I'm a big Star Wars fan, so bought this one. I think it was like five bucks or something like that. So this one is uh, it's a Dark Vader. I don't know if you guys see it. Uh, I might not open it, but this is a new version of it. It's not nothing old. It's still like fairly new, not that expensive. You know, it's it's not what I wanted, but hey, I, I like Dark Vader, so why not? You know, bought it, bought it, and um, let me see if I can put the camera if you guys can see some. I know they have the lighting over. In fact, you know what? Let me turn on the light more. Hold on, got some more lighting here. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's get the shininess going. So we're gonna put these suckers aside. I bought that one. I bought this one. Some cheap old five dollar box, I guess, you know, but hey, they're new, they're not collectible. I don't really collect these things. I just want well, like how they look, you know, dark maw kind of figure. So this is a uh, dark maw actually with a new suit kind of thing. So I guess it's the cartoon edition, it's not even the movie edition or the or or the series edition. So uh dark maw. Not bad. Not here for that. Uh, we're gonna start with this one, Kyle. If you guys remember him, he's the you know, of course, who doesn't? This is the cloth version. I think it was like five bucks too. So also added in there. If you guys see it, and and you can tell it was open right here. I guess it was a return or something, but somebody must have played with it. Uh, I don't really care. I could just open it up and and I could care less. I, I don't really take care of these things, but this one I don't care about. Put them on the side. Now this sucker. If you guys know this one, look at this one. So I went out there and I tried to get his companion. And I'm gonna show you. I actually had to take it apart, man. I gotta take this sucker out, man. I gotta show you the whole damn thing. I don't know if I guys showed you. I went to look for his companion, and I couldn't find his companion, man. I, I was seeking. I tried every vendor. And I couldn't read. I'm not like I said. I'm not. I'm not gonna hold on to a lot of these toys. You know. I just like. This is badass. Look at this. I think you turn them on somehow. So, oh yeah. Here it goes. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Let's see if I can put them down here. His eyes turn on. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn them off now. Turn off. I don't know how to turn them off. But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually put this guy on the on a, on a movie set kind of thing, so I'm on 3D printing a background right now for him. Uh, pretty much uh, lava flowing and everything, so I'm gonna use this guy for that particular reason. But so I'm also gonna purchase the T1000 whatever unit, and he also comes with le this. This is badass. He comes like with leather jacket and everything. It's not like a limited edition. I just opened it. Don't care. Put the sucker on the side. This is not what I, I'm, I'm excited about, actually. This is... I'm going to show you the last thing I'm excited about, man. So if you guys are here, I'm going to show you guys the real toys. The real McCoy. So, I bought another one. Another one for my collection. These, you can find them at Target. You can find them everywhere right now. Uh, I ended up buying this one because I guess they sold out in a couple areas, so... Um, this this was like 25 bucks I think and there's different this is the arcade version of it so if you guys play the art the predator game it's the arcade version um, you know what it says collectible fuck it not to me <laughs> uh, let's take them out not completely but we'll take some of them out so in the game you know if you guys remember he has a uh, his guards I forgot what what he call it but the, his laser for his back Let's turn them around, see if, check them out. This is pretty neat. They come with the lance, of course. Uh, in the game, they give you a gunner, a machine gun, one of those marine guns, right? Uh, this is the video game version, not the actual Predator from the movies. It's from the video game, just to give you guys in mind. Um, regarding his mask, I don't think his mask comes off. Uh, don't see a way to remove his mask. I think that's how he is. Uh, you can't remove his mask, but they do sell different versions of it in the back, and there is one without the mask, so it's not bad, you know. And this is not that expensive. You can find them at Target, Walmart, all sorts of things, you know. So, but I bought this one because um, I'm a big Predator fan, man. I'm a sucker for Predator, you know. So I'm gonna put this one back. Um, 
and if you see it, it tells you it's the video. You can find these, like I said, Target, Walmart. I seen these around, but I just picked them up because hey, you know what? Might as well take a look. So that's not bad. I'm gonna show you some. Let's get through good stuff. Another one. I got a sucker into it, man. Damn. This is the T800 version, and this guy is get to the chopper. Arnold Schwarzenegger in different forms. Let's open them up too. Collectible, my butt. Let's get it open here. Let's see what you get. This was also the same price, you know, but they're they're not that expensive at the store right now. You could buy them, the smaller version of it. Uh, different different um, scenarios they have you, they give you. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna zoom in some more so you guys can see a little bit more of the of the character. And well, you know what? I'm not even gonna zoom in with the camera. I'm just gonna bring in the camera. Hold on. There we go. So if you guys see Arnold, it comes with two different faces, all right? Actually, three with the current one he has. He has the glasses on one of them. He's half broken on the other one, and then of course he has his Mr. Universe um, face, of course. Jacket-wise, same detail as the other one. Nothing lights up. Nothing LED. But this time they give you the grappling gun, the, which is the the mini gun, and in a box you can set them up for a scenario here. You guys can see the mini gun; it's right there, different parts. And so I went out there and I was looking for the actual T1000 unit with exoskeleton. I couldn't find them anywhere. I tried different places. I am gonna buy them online, but right now we're just gonna open these up and talk about them. I'm not gonna take them apart because I'm gonna get to the bread and butter what I got. I'm so excited. I didn't want to. That's why I'm rushing a lot of things. But if you guys think I'm rushing it, let me know. I'll slow down. The only thing I'm talking about is because I went to the expo and it was like a kid in the candy store on there. You know, flashbacks of everything. You can find everything. They are making a new Terminator movie too. Yeah, they asked me to star in it. I, I, I denied it. I didn't want to be on it. Um, I say, you know what? I'll skip it this time and I'll let a new superstar act on it. So. I'm just kidding, man. I know about that. Um, I think Arnold's still coming on it, so not quite sure. Let's bring in some more stuff. Oh, you guys. Oh, well, okay. Here goes the piece of resistance, right? So you guys remember I did a live view of this one. Do you guys remember this guy? I did a live view of this. Uh, I was like, man, you know, I bought this one at the store. I don't know if you guys see it. There we go. I bought this one at, at the, let, me, let me fix the camera a little bit. There you go. I bought this one a while back, and I did a live view of it, right? I, a review on this one. Um, awesome. Optimus Prime. You know, this this guy was badass. His gun's in the back. His gun's foul right now, if you can see it. But he transforms. His back end transforms. Everything. They, they're bringing him back, and this is a remake of the original Transformer. But I, I went to the store, I went to the expo today, and I saw a giant eye transformer of uh, Optimus Prime I had out my eyes on. But it was a thousand bucks. I ain't going to spend a thousand bucks for a toy, you know. Um, not that kind of toy, you know, that's a big expensive toy. But, you know, if it's, a, if it's an actual vehicle or something, maybe that'll be better. But not a physical toy like this, you know. Um, I bought this one cheap. This was like probably 60 bucks, 50 bucks at the, at the Target, Walmart. I'm not sure where I bought it, but... You know, they're bringing the classical stuff back, but one guy that's not classic, if you guys could guess, is Mr. Mr. Come on. Instead of uh, Optimus Prime, there's another guy, you know, that you got to remember. So that's what I'm going to bring you next. And let's bring that sucker back in here. I felt lonely with this guy, so I ended up buying Megatron. Big ass. Let me see if I could get more of the camera in here big ass Megatron you see that I end up buying freaking Megatron uh, I was so this is probably very I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent on this one but it, it was expensive it cost three or four times more than that sucker there you know and this one because you could transform it into the gun so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch it yet I'm just gonna open it out I'm gonna open from the box right now so you guys could take a look at what I you get now this guy had everything I wanted I'm a big Macross fan of if you guys ever remember the series um, um, uh, Macross, which um, it had all these Robotech. It was actually Robotech, actually. Um, so I freaking was looking for the Skull Leader. I was looking for a lot of these characters, you know, 
But there were over 300 bucks. I mean, anything anime is really expensive, especially old school 1980s um, series. Uh, you're not going to find it cheap. You know, everything's going to be old and um, expensive and hard to find. So I'm, I'm a Macross fan. You know, I, I try to look for that stuff. Uh, I don't have any. I used to have one, the motorcycle guy, but I don't know what happened to him. Somewhere down the moves, maybe a couple times I moved around, you know, I ended up losing them, you know. So this case this is a childhood memory i actually own this toy and the way i ended up getting this toy i ended up trading maybe three cartridges for this gun for somebody that had this toy it was a nintendo game i traded three nintendo games or super nintendo i don't know what series was it but i ended up trading it three games for this sucker and i had the toy i had the physical toy and everything was com everything was included including the back end of the gun the the, uh, the scope and then you had the silencer and the extended and extended um um barrel so back then this was it this is the toy i had and um like i said childhood i lost it somewhere down the line i you know somebody stole it broke it or something happened but i don't recall and i said hey one day i'm gonna bring you back home and today i actually saw it and i pulled the trigger and i said you know what it's gonna be hard to find these guys but this is not the original original one uh the original one it's it's impossible to find if you find it it's gonna be missing items all right so let's get let's get opening let's open this sucker right let's open this one see what you get fat oh you know before we open it let's see what's included so this is the actual size it says, you know, if you guys see it. It's a couple inches. How many inches is it on the box? It says on the box it's about, well, because the box starts here, it's about almost nine and a half inches, all right, tall, the character, right? Um, different scenarios transforms into different guns. You could do different things. And um, the only reason I bought it is because it's the same size as the Optimus Prime I have. Different faces too, also, and a lot of it is um, anti. Uh, you could remove all the hands, fingers, and stuff like that. So this is a Japanese version. It might be a knockoff or anything, but you know what? I don't really care if it's a knockoff or not. As long as you get what you bought, that's what you gotta find. So this is. Oh, let me remove the book. So, oh man, let's open this sucker up. He wants to be open. He wants to be open. I know people are scringing because they, they love to collect this stuff, but you know, you only live once, honestly. And when you die, you're gonna leave this shit unopened. <laughs> Come on, man. Reality is like, it's like your 401k. You put so much money onto one 401k, then you pass away and somebody else is gonna enjoy it. No, I got the theory is like, you know what? It's gonna be valuable either way. So to me, I open shit either way. I don't really care. I mean, I do like it and I do wanna keep, I'm not those guys that keep it in packages all the time. You know, it's just, I don't play with them, but I like to, I like details on things, you know? So that's my thing. So let's open it. Let's unwrap this sucker and see how big he is. You know what? We're gonna unwrap Optimus Prime too. See if he fits the same size. Might as well do those two and, and, and fight, follow up, man. So, let's get this guy out first. First of all, first of all, he's plastic. Some of the some of the features are metal. Um, let me move this aside. I'm not even gonna touch the rest of the stuff. We're just gonna compare the size with this guy. What's up, Sunset? What's up, homie? What's up, man? So we're just reviewing a couple of Transformers today, and this is uh, Megatron, the original Megatron. Um, we're gonna compare with uh, Optimus Prime and see how much of a difference. Yep, we're doing the Transformer unwrap of different toys. We did a bunch of unwrap boxes of toys right now. So, I mean, if you guys like comic books, collectibles, and video game stuff, I did buy some Fortnite characters that I'm gonna be donating and giving away. So we're gonna compare the size with these two. This is the one I bought in Target. And it's pretty much, they're pretty much deadlock side by side. They're about the same size, you know, which, which is great comparison because I, I thought it was going to be something that I was going to expend. Like, let me turn on this light too. So you guys can see more lighting. Oh, shoot. I can't reach the light. Never mind. Forget about the light. 
we're just going to compare these two and um, see if we can see them more. So, sweet, man. I like these. These are really good. Um, the remake of them, this is a different make from, um, this is actually Hasbro. This is a Japanese developer, that, a Japanese maker that did buy a license, a couple things. So they do license some stuff, but they pretty, uh, it's pretty expensive. Anything you buy off this company, it's it's going to cost you the shipping. It's going to cost you the... Yeah, they do transform. They do transform. In fact, this one... Yeah, they don't. They both transform very good. <laughs> so this one actually has the the back end of the truck built in. This is a totally different one. If you guys could see it, the whole back end is built in with Optimus Prime on this one. This is the new version of the of Optimus Prime. All right, it's the old school Optimus Prime, but it's the new version that everything's built on him. The whole trailer, the whole trailer is built in back of him. So everything that you see is what you get in here now on this sucker here you are gonna add the additional stuff which is the scope that he has where uh, uses as gun now the new version of it they also open up make make it flexible where all the fingers open up so they could grab the characters guns you know I'm trying to open it here you go he has four or five fingers that open up really good i, I really like that it's um mechanic wise it, it's this one looks more um more fragile to be honest with you it's more for a display than actually playing with this one so uh, this is a fragile toy i will say you know the bottom part is metal this is the grip the grip part where you actually transform it i'm not going to do the transformation here i don't want to jack it up in front of uh, you guys if you guys have time i, I don't know you know Sweet. yeah so this is the prime enjoy that i bought um i wanted this one for a while and like i said they do have different different heads which uh i i kind of don't know how to move them out yet i'm still gonna figure out how to move them out but the pistol cap is in the the, the barrels in the back of him uh, you could change different characters faces of course on on him and let's this side by side let's bring a comparison side by side of the sizes they both stand alone uh, it seems like megatron's a little taller than than optimus prime and this end uh, by maybe half an inch or an inch, I would say, you know, it's like comparison. It's it's a little bit off, you know, this is a little taller, but in the cartoon, you can't even really tell, you know, who's taller in it. Of course, you know, yeah, side by side comparison is about the same size, almost a little bit. I would say, let me see. Stand up straight, Optimus, you're, you're making me look bad. He's about, let me see, he's about nine inches exactly nine inches this guy whoa, 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 whoa this guy wants to got knocked down this guy's nine and a half inches but if you include the ter barrel it'll be ten inches nine and a half inches from toe to bottom so nine inches to nine and a half inches so he's half an inch he's half an inch taller which is bad it's not that bad if you're gonna do a scenario with these two characters or do them as an animation or something like that or just keep them as collectible it, they're great items now. Like I said, these are the new versions, not the original ones. All right, the original ones had a lot of metal pieces it built in. You know, I remember having the original one. The original one actually, some of the front of it was plastic, but the rest of the body, some of the joints were all metal. Um, same goes with this one. This one had a lot of stainless steel, a lot of aluminum. Uh, actually, aluminum. They didn't use the stainless steel. It's more expensive. You know, it's all aluminum based. But it was a little bit more durable because you actually transform it into actually a physical gun. And and you know what? The only reason they don't make them no more like they used to is because, you know, gun, you know, people that are against guns and stuff like that don't want to have kids playing around with an actual gun that, you know. yeah oh man i could i could still watch them over and over again and those some of them are my favorite still um they were cheesy they were cheesy don't get me wrong but you know what they did their job they give you they keep you entertained that's what it was so uh, all these cartoons give me flashbacks and when i saw these guys you know this new version of him is like totally crazy they have like electronic builds in here um this one doesn't go that far as to do anything but the actual lighting i'm not even sure if it even lights up it says in the box it was supposed to light up uh this one looks a lot more complicated than this guy to put together um puzzle wise um i'm gonna have to follow the instructions to do some of the 
chain transformations. I am going to probably mess around with them later down the line, but today I'm just going to demonstrate you what you get and what you can buy. You can still find this guy in a lot of stores, but if you don't if you don't find them, they're going to they're they're going to sell out quickly and they they they're very expensive after a while, you know. And all these collectors bowls always go to the stores and pick them up the first days, you know. I was lucky enough to have this one picked up before it, it was it was picked up by somebody else, but it was the last one. And I bought this guy for I believe it was 67 or 65 at Target, I think it was. Now you're not gonna find this one guy anywhere. This is Target won't sell anything that's do with guns or anything like that. And if it does, they have the you know mandate a lot of things on it, so it will not be this guy that you're gonna find at any Target or any Walmart or anything. This is a collectible. This is gonna find a third party vendor, which is a Japanese vendor, or you're gonna find him somewhere else. Now I'll tell you this: if you guys ever bought stuff in Wish, I have, and and it's all bootleg stuff in Wish. These are not Wish stuff, right? And, um, the wish stuff is it, it, you could tell how cheap and fast they're doing printing these things out and sending them out you can tell the difference on them this one is actually a pretty good build and on top of that like I said they give you multiple faces let me get this guy's gun too they give you multiple faces and I'm gonna move this stuff on the side so you guys can see more of the stuff put this on the side they give you multiple faces they give you a lot of little details, you know, of the barrels and stuff like that. And um, I, I don't know. I think this one, this one shoots or something. It's supposed to light up. I think. I think you're supposed. Yeah, there is a light up, sh um, a light laser in here. Yeah, this one lights up. I mean, this is a plus. You know, let's open the bottom part. Let's see what else you get in the bottom. Include it. I gotta open this stuff still. Damn. I got rid of this. I guess it has a lot of tape around it. Here we go. Oh man, okay. Let's put this on the side. And like I said, um damn, this is well protected. <laughs> they have all these things to protect the stuff. There we go. That's why they have to protect them because they don't want people like me to just freaking open it. So, move this star all the way. They have extra additional stuff on him. They have these faces that you change out. And this is a damaged version of it. If you guys see it, he's damaged in the back. You know, his eyes are. And his eyes are, are painted. Look how the details on it, how painted they are. You see that? That's freaking awesome stuff. How they painted his face and his eyes. His eyes are like metallic red, if you see it. And I like that. That's pretty cool. So they give you two. Oh, and just to let you know, these are magnet. There's a magnet in back of the face, every face. This is him screaming, like, you know, pissed off, I guess. I don't know what's the difference between these two faces. They pretty much look the same. Now, on top of that, they give you a helmet for this guy. I don't remember this guy having a helmet at all. Do you guys remember? They gave him a helmet. Now, this is pretty badass. Let me see if I could get this out. Oh, man. Damn, I can't get this out. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, there you go. There it goes. There it goes. This is pretty good. I like the detail on this. Look at it. This. this is a damaged sheet front. You know how he has that front in front? Let me see if I can show you guys. So he has a damaged front. You could change it like if it was damaged. I like that. That's pretty badass. And they even look at the details on the actual transformer logo on the on the what do you call it? Uh, not the not the Autobots, the uh, Decepticons. Look at the logo. It's even shattered there. I like the level of detail on that. Now on here, they gave him a gun. I guess he had a little gun too. Damn. Why would he have another gun? I don't remember having him a gun, but. I gotta go back and look at the series more, you know. So now, on top of that, this is a this is a thing that that was a plus. This is a big old chain and ball, you know. Um, it's it, it, you know it looks like it's useful. It's actually movable and everything. Nothing's tied in, and it's made of plastic. It's made of plastic, but it's a see-through plastic. It's like he used to generate these. Um, I remember a, 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 a virtual systems that they were actually. Uh, real objects so this is something I do remember him having 
the pieces this is metal this is freaking metal on the back this is for the actual gun uh, adaptation and i remember on this one he also used it as a regular cannon too so he could actually use it himself so this piece right here is it's looks like it's complicated to do a lot of things transformation i'm not doing it today because it's gonna take me maybe a couple of hours to figure it out how to put it together but i am gonna try it he had a sword too this look at the level of detail on the sword or whatever it is yeah it's a sword it's actually a sword level of details is, is, is off the hook on this one of course the barrel which is the silencer built-in barrel long distance um this is how i guess he and, and this is what he used to carry i remember this was his weapon and i think it falls it takes a part somewhere and the, there's a cut here there's another one here it, it looks very complicated to put apart to take apart but i'm not gonna do that today i'm not like i said not gonna touch that today uh, this thing is a key it's a metal key it's real metal uh it's really heavy it's actually heavy it's a metal key don't know what the hell is it is i guess it's for his ass so he won't get anything in the back or something <laughs> or the front maybe you know if you guys remember a movie where they had a lock in the front it was party it was space balls <laughs> if you guys remember space ball the chick used to have a key in the front of it and then roddy roddy parper came out with a movie back in the days where he also had like a, an underwear that had a key and he, that's the only way he could, you know, reproduce. It was his first movie. It was part of uh, like an apocalypse movie. It was before his time. It was really good. It was old. That can it was good for kids, you know, because we wanted to see stuff like this, you know. Now, I'm going to put the key back because I don't want to lose this shit, you know. But this was this barrel. This is the actual one that goes in here. So this attaches in here and this is a, makes some who he, he was who i remember and in fact today's version it's a tank you know the new version and he and this is the barrel of the tank so not bad i mean i'm gonna put all this stuff together back don't want to lose it uh but it looks very complicated all this very complicated and very uh very detailed level of detail is is off the hook on this one I like the details on everything. Uh, I like what they made, and I like that they give you extra stuff on it, you know? So those that don't really feel comfortable and opening their stuff, and, and I mean, these guys went all out. They put a little laser, real laser in here, but it's not turning on right now. I need to take out the battery. In fact, you know, let's see what kind of batteries it take. Why stop there, you know? Why stop there? Let's open it up. Let's see what else you get on top of it. Let me move this on the side. He's okay. He's okay. Nothing happened to him. For all those people that are scringing for opening the toys, nothing happened to him. It's just a box. So let's see what kind of level, what kind of um, lights do you get or what, what is it that you need? What kind of battery? And I know I don't have one of those batteries right here, but we're going to open it up. See if um, this opens up. And I think I have to get more of it out. But today's show is pretty good. Uh, it was very personal. The show was very small. I did meet a lot of YouTubers out there. I was looking for um, Boogie. Uh, but he was actually going to be out there till like 3 o'clock or something. And, and it got crowded during the time. So I took off. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wait for this guy. I'll watch him later. I'll see him some other time. There he goes. So it takes two small batteries. We guys see the compartment in here. And this is the new version, I said. Like I said, it's not the old original one. This is a uh, far more detail, level of detail that they have in this. Um, two batteries, you know, to convert the whole thing to open it up. And let's put it back. I don't want to lose the screw, of course, you know. Uh, laser, a real laser, I guess. It's like a laser or light or something. It, uh, it has like a... At my clock, oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you for coming in, man. Thank you for checking it out, man. Uh, check out my shows, man. If you guys ever see, uh, I got a lot of details on, on movies and games and stuff like that. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you, Mike, for coming in, man. Thank you for the new subscribers, too, man. So, level of details is really good. I mean, I like the new version of it. Um, he's a little heavier. He's heavier than Optimus Prime, of course, because, like I said, he has a lot more to 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 and I, and I gotta figure out how to take out the faces you know i don't know how to do that 
I don't want to break them right now, so I'm going to read the instructions. All the books on here. The book has a lot of details how to transform it. Um, a lot of it is Japanese, so I'm going to have to use a Google Translator. But you know what? Who needs a translator when you know exactly where pictures it tells you how to do this and how to take it off? Uh, the level of details is really good. Uh, I was thinking about duplicating this guy. And the way I'm talking about duplication, I do have... Oh, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for coming down, man. The level of details that I have on this guy, I was going to do something that... It's not normal, necessary, and I do have a 3D scanner to scan 3D objects. So I was going to pose them in a certain way and scan them and then print them, reprodu reproduce him in a 3D scanner. And in fact, let me show you guys my baby here that I have to reproduce these kind of... Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the, the stuff I'm talking about. So this is a 3D scanner uh, liquid or uh, base, right? We're not going to open it. It's still brand new in the box still. I have this one and I have a larger one, a, a way larger one than this one that could reproduce this stuff. So I, that's the only reason I bought these characters. I want to 3D scan them and start, you know, making my own and painting them out and maybe not so much of a collectible, you know, it's more like a on a project that's what i'm probably going to shoot for more like a project and let's get a little bit closer to this guy so the level of detail that they have on the characters it's really good i like how they have the hands and the every i mean he opens almost every finger there's like three fingers let me see one two he pretty much opens all of them level of the details on it uh, it's it's beyond it's pretty good i mean i like this stuff you know like this is to grab his guns and everything. And like I said, the front front end opens up. I don't even know how to change this stuff, to be honest with you. I'm not even going to mess with them today and transform them. Um, I don't want to break them on the first day, but I do want to get them up and running as a gun. And, you know, the handles are really good. It's Like I said, some of it's metal. Some pieces are metal. And uh, I'm pretty sure it lights up in here. If you guys see that. It's like a, it reminds me of Dark Vader. So compared to the to this version, let's get a little higher so you guys can see. Compared to the Optimus Prime, more plastic and uh, Optimus Prime has more details too. I don't even know why they did an extra truck in there when you had the front, but it's crazy. This is a different version. Like this is a brand new version of Optimus Prime, the truck, and he has the old truck. It's not the new version. Hey CJ, well welcome to back. welcome to the show. How you doing, CJ? Um, not playing right now until later. You know, right now we're just talking about you know gaming toys and, and and things I bought at the game at the at the gaming expo. I bought a bunch of different things and I went over the stuff. So if you guys missed it, rewind and check out the stuff I bought. But this was the one I was looking for. I actually went to look for this guy. And those that didn't grow up with Transformers, uh, you guys missed out. I'm sorry. But those that are catching up to the new episode, hey, you know what? Check it out. You're going to probably follow these things too. Like, you guys will never know. Some of the people that I talked to never even understood that there, there was a different Optimus Prime before. They only know the newest truck, you know. They don't know the flat face truck. Uh, this is a flat face truck. And like I said, it's a new version of it. And in fact, you know, there's another flat face. It's a smaller truck in the bottom. And it transforms. This He carries the whole shell himself. The back of it in the trailer. And the original toy, it was a different face. The trailer was where he actually had his home base and stuff like that. This one, he actually transforms the whole base himself. So it's not bad. I haven't I haven't transformed him yet. Uh, I'm... I'm Kind of like, you know, hesitant about things like that. I, I don't want to jump into it right now. He has an extra set of foot here. I'm not even quite sure what these are. But, oh, this is actually the actual rails and, and um, feet for the actual tr truck. So, I haven't done anything with him because he seems like he's more fragile. But this guy, I do want to transform him and make him to a gun. But other than that, I just want to show you guys some of the great stuff. And, um, of course, don't forget his gun. Or his gun he could even carry this thing and if you guys see my last show i did um two, two hours ago i uploaded a version of Octim of optimus prime that was around like three feet three feet high but he was heavy and he half metal half plastic his value was a thousand dollars the guy was selling it for a thousand dollars uh uh i just went and i and i freaking loved it but <laughs> that's all you can do just love the stuff i don't have the money to spend on on a freaking transformer that big now this guy he was a little expensive we're talking about close to 
I'm just going to give you a rough number. It was 200 and something bucks for this guy. It's because it's hard to find these guys. And they know that. And what happens once these situations when they find things hard to find, they jack up the prices. And of course, a lot of companies don't want to reproduce the old uh, Megatron because of the gun. Rages. Yeah, yeah. And it's really good stuff, man. So I ended up buying this one, of course, because it's hard to reproduce this guy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D scan them and make my own poses and start making them out. And start, see if I could reshape them and do stuff, maybe pose them together. And you could, if you're an animator out there, these are a perfect steel animator, a steel animation. These are perfect for you because they, they're they very flexible. Finger-wise, um, moving-wise, um, for steel animation, if you guys going to buy this stuff, if you guys are onto that stuff, this is a great start to start. But if you're collecting them, this is also even better to start collecting them. I mean, if you're not a collectible... Uh, you know, it, it's okay. You can start somewhere, but these are the original bodies, not the original um, um, toys, but the original suits. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you, Ban Banix. Um, so, like I said, we can transform this guy, but it's gonna be doc uh, very difficult. I do love this. This is a plus. I, I am, I am curious how do, you, how do you even to turn this on, man? Hey, thank you, man. Thank you, Bitcoin Blake. Now following me. Thank you guys for subscribing too, man, and making it part of the show. Like I said, I'm gonna bring a lot of new toys here. I I'm a collectible too. I I do comic. I draw. I, I I play games. If you guys see my YouTube channel, I have a lot of gaming involved. I got um VR systems, um 3D printing, um, sculpturing, all sorts of things I do, and it, I I can be found in every venue. Late to the show. That's my name of the view. Today I had the privilege of uh, meeting three great um, YouTubers that I actually follow. One was Riggs, John, and then the other one was Andrew. If you guys ever seen Andrew's show, he is one of those guys that has very details on all his shows. I mean, he goes into the history of Nintendo. And he also does other shows too, but he was mostly doing the Nintendo stuff and that got him famous. He has about 64, 600,000 subscribers on his show. And um, very, very nice guy. I mean, he was approachable. Also, Jesus Metal, Metal Jesus, if you guys ever heard of him, really great guy, man. He's from Seattle. He's an old school guy. He collects a lot of these retro systems. And he, he you know, he talks about them, he plays them, and he, he has a humongous collection on his uh on retro gaming you know so i saw him yeah i saw him this weekend and um yes today actually and i was talking to him about you know because he had a basement flood in and, and he was a great guy if you guys ever see those guys uh those guys are, are awesome youtubers man they're approachable easy to talk to i mean this guy could have just walked away and say it's nothing you know he even said uh i told him to say something for you know subscribe to his show and he just put it in there and, and it was pretty good man so Riggs, um i talked to Riggs. he was a, he's an old school guy he repairs all these nintendo cartridges he shows you how to clean them, how to maintain them because people it's it's demanding the mark is coming back everything that was old is coming back this is an example hard to find stuff like this in the different areas you're gonna find them and the bootleg areas of course but if you want original stuff you're, you're not gonna find them everything's bought off by all these vendors in fact the reality is when i went to the actual um store out there when i went to the expo today every vendor had jacked up every price so right now if you guys don't know if you guys are super smash brothers collectors uh, the hardest character to find in the Nemo uh, collection is the actual plant. You know, the the pop. The I don't know what you call him, but the plant pot. He was there selling almost a hundred bucks on a Nemo kit. All right, going for a hundred bucks, and that's just like way jacking up prices you know these are the things that you could buy in the store for cheaper of course but they were jacking the prices up they're wanting 100 bucks because it's hard to find items like that of course like i went for two things i went for megatron actually i went for four things i'm gonna tell you megatron uh macross anything with robotech i love robotech my stuff i grew up on robotech that was my love before transformers it was robotech you know right Robotech, I, I went for uh, the Ectoskeleton for T2 because I wanted the part of the, my collection I have of the uh, Terminator. I couldn't find that stuff. I mean, that those things are hard to find. And they did have a Mechos, um, um, 
a metal skeleton before that was made of metal and the aluminum. Uh, it's very difficult to find, and if you find it, it's almost five to six hundred bucks. You know, it's it's out of my price range right now. I was looking anything under two hundred bucks and stuff like that. That was my cut off line right there you know after that i kind of step back you know because i try to not to spend too much uh, stuff on on items like this you know they're great collectibles they're, le they're great to view and to I, I don't play with them i wish i could now i don't have the freaking time but i like to watch them and i like to detail in fact what i do is i like to model them i i use this to sketch all these characters out and i do draw a lot um, I do airbrush. I do a my 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 background is a graphic designer. I did a lot of graphic design. I work in a on a comic book area. I'm not gonna say the name of the comic book company that I used to work back then. It, it wasn't a work. It was I was an intern there, pretty much. That wasn't a job. They didn't pay me. I was doing it for free, but it introduced me to new art. And it's art that I would thought I was never going to do. And here I was drawing, doing stuff like this. Now, a lot of stuff I do on my show, the graphics and Photoshop, it's just stuff I know how to do. Background and all that stuff, you know, music and cutting out. It's stuff that a lot of people don't take for granted sometimes. So I tend to put everything together. My show is about, you know, the latest stuff, toys, gaming, and all that stuff. In this show, I do have other shows where I only talk about computers and networks and that's it, you know. But this... This show is more rounded about collectibles, toys, and gaming, VR, anything to do with, with, you know, fun stuff, I would say. You know, this is what it is. So, very, very, very awesome that I was able to find this guy to match this guy. And now I can put him and pose him up. This guy comes with a sword. This guy comes with a sword. So, it'll be a good combination to put them together. Uh, like I said, this guy's about uh, nine, nine and a half inches. This one's nine and a half, nine inches. If you measure from the barrel, it'll be ten inches. All right, that's what she said. Anyways, great to have these stuff, and uh, I'm gonna transform. I might do another video on both of them transforming. Maybe a slow motion or, uh, or a, 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 you know, time lapse. I would do a time lapse on these. How long it takes me to do put them together and side by side and see what you guys think. I'll upload that video on the side. It might not take a couple minutes, three or four minutes to do on the time lapse, but I'm gonna upload it for you guys. And uh, you'll stick if you guys stick around and keep watching the show. I will make sure I'll do that for you guys. Um, right now, what I'm brewing is uh, I'm talking about two different machines. I'm working. If you guys are working with micro PCs, the Nuke Intel Nuke. This is a beast. This is the next thing I'm doing a video on it. So if you guys want to know more hardware about the PCs, what's going on with video cards built in on these small, awesome. This is a heavy brick stuff. This is the stuff I'm working on. I'm uh, doing a comparison with a with a Zoltec machine. And the, if you guys don't recognize these these names, uh, it's because this is the new stuff that's coming on on board where people that can't afford PCs, they're trying to make them cheaper and uh, very un very affordable with built-in video cards, and hard drives, and memory. So you could get up and go on getting the latest games. Like if you want to play um, any of the new stuff. Apex is one of them. So I'm doing a review with those two machines playing Apex and Call of Duty 4 pretty much on PC because I want to see what's if it's even worth getting any of those two machines now I'm not going to talk about it because I'm still going to do I'm still reviewing it I'm still making uh, all these changes on it but it, it, some of them it's just they're off the hook man I mean I'm I'm impressed with the the number of uh, quality that the uh, video cards can, can actually hold on to but other than that today we're going to talk about our toys so if you guys have any questions hit me up let me know I'm going to be your host throughout the whole day today and later on today around what time is it right now? Uh, I will say in about 30 minutes, we're going to come back and do a live streaming on gaming. We're going to be gaming. That's what we do every day. We game, you know, that's pretty much our cigarette. I don't drink, I don't smoke. There it is. You know, that's my cigarette gaming pretty much, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we all stress out in life. You know, we have problems. You know, we, we turn to things, you know, and hopefully you guys turn to good stuff. You know, I I, I was blessed to, to turn into these kind of things. I'll tell you a story about this. How I, I actually fell in love. And, and as a kid, I was dirt poor. I was freaking dirt poor. Um, in America, who lives without power for almost a year? This guy. This guy. I'm not going to lie to you. I lived in the projects throughout my life. But I believe it or not, I had these toys. 
And I'm going to tell you how I did it. I hustled. I hustled to get this guy. I remember I told you guys three cartridges of Nintendo traded for this guy. Got this guy. I ended up buying Optimus Prime. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. I used to sell cassettes back in the days. And I used to go to parks. And I used to listen to music. And I used to sell these stuff just for toys. I had all the Star Wars figures. I had all the toys. I was as poor as I was. I was buying my own shit. Buying the latest toys. And, and still today I still buy all these freaking toys. And enjoy life you know. Because like I said. If you're never going to open them up in the box. When you die. Somebody's going to throw them in the trash for you. That's pretty much how I feel like, you know, if you never had the chance to open your boxes, you guys have your collectibles. I have all these collections in here. I'm, I'm planning to open every single one of them. I know people are going to cry and say, oh, don't do it. Sell them to me. What for? You're not going to enjoy life. You only, you only have one life and you, you, you live. That's it. No more. If you feel you're going to reincarnate yourself, come back as a rat or a mouse or a bird. Go look, try and try and transform one of these with your fingers. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, we all have our problems. We all have our needs to run somewhere else. Some people come to the stream. And, you know, I really appreciate every single one of you guys coming down here and making the channel. We have grown throughout the year to 4,000 subscribers. My goal this year is we're going to hit that 10,000 subscriber. Um, we're in a good start this year. We gained so many subscribers throughout the couple months. Uh, I'm going to bring in some more content. Like I said, people want to see more of the hardware. I got these. I'm backed up in hardware, to be honest with you, because I'll tell you this. I, I, I've been so busy playing video games and doing these reviews that I should be doing. I got these non projects. That I, haven't, I haven't finished my setup yet. I'm still doing all this cleanup in here. But every time I start something, that stupid game keys calling me back to go play some more <laughs> or stagger. This, Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Lone Star, man. Hey, man, Lone Star. Man, I'm, I'm working on something for you, but the thing is, these damn games keeping me out. That's why I haven't sent you shit yet, but I'm going to send you some stuff, man. I'll tell you when I send it out. I'm not sending it out, but I'm working on a couple of things to send out. Uh, we're making a lot of couple of cheat keychains. I'm 3D printing some keychains with our logo late to the show. I'm going to start printing out personal stuff for people that are requesting stuff. Um, I'm going to start making more of these things. You know, I have a printer, a printing machine that could print these suckers. I could actually print my own transformers. They will not transform, but they're going to be figures that you could paint them and redo them. Uh, now legal purposes, I'm not supposed to, you know, talk about what you're going to do with them, but you could do what you will. As long as you don't sell them, if you keep them, yeah, as long as you don't sell them and keep them for yourself, that's fine, but I'm going to donate the stuff pretty much. What I'm going to do is um, we're going to paint them. I'm going to airbrush them, paint them here, and do some figures and, and give them away, man. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to 3D scan some of these and print them out and see how well they come out. But that will be down the line right now because uh, uh, that's time consuming. I mean, scanning this stuff and, and then transferring it to the, uh, the 3D, you got to go in there and clean it up, not just transferring it because the 3D scanner what it does it scans pretty much uh, areas that you don't want it um imperfections and stuff like that so the new norm people this is going to be out of the questions one of these days people are just going to print their own figures that's pretty much the future to be honest with you printers are not that expensive for under 500 bucks you could get a really good one and the future is that you break up a hand something breaks on this you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to go to a store. You don't have to get crazy glue. You're just going to print it out. That's how it is, the norm. And to replicate these things are not that very difficult. I mean, it's just pieces of item, of plastic that you could scan it. You could, you know, it's just very simple to duplicate these days. And like I said, these these are not going to be something that you're going to buy, be finding in the store future. You're probably, the next generation, 20 years, 10 years from now, who knows? When you're going to buy a toy, you're just going to hit a machine. It's going to print it out. And here you have the physical toy, you know? That's how I see things. You know, the way the future is right now, you're printing your own tools, your own stuff like that. That's where we're probably going to go. But for now, enjoy life. Open every box that you can, can you know? And if you think it's going to collectible, it's going to save money, it's going to cost money in the future, it might. It's not going to buy you a house, you know, <laughs> the stuff that's out there is just overwhelming. And it's because of the Chinese markets and because of all these knockoff places that they just inundated. All, they, they, they flooded the whole market with all these toys that in reality, there's not enough money to make any, but any money out of them, you know, because everybody, if you think you're the only one that has this, believe it or not, there's 
maybe a thousand or a million people that have this stuff because of knockoffs. You know, that's the thing. And these days, a lot of people can't even know the difference. For example, take Nikes, for example. Nike makes a shoe, but, you know, and the Jordans, they sell the Jordans. They they and flooded the market with all these fake Jordans now these days. And it's hard to tell some of the times of which one's real and which is fake. So if you're out there in the market to looking for, hey, you know, this might be a way to invest, it's wrong, you know. I, I, I That's my, my, my opinion. Everybody has their own. There's collectibles out there, people that have it. It's because they've been in the collecting for years, you know. Uh, G.I. Joe market, I saw the G.I. Joe market. It, it seems like there's not that many duplication of G.I. Joes. And that's something that was uh, interesting. I was like, wow, you know, G.I. Joe is my thing when I was growing up. But it's expensive, too. If you guys ever try to buy the carrier and finding the carrier intact, it's going to cost you a thousand bucks or more, you know, which right now it's not that bad if you're collectible. Hey, Josh. Welcome to the stream. So one of the things that I like to do is like I like to find things. And then if I find the stuff that I need, for example, I'm looking for the exoskeleton. If I can't find it, I'm going to print them out. I just want to have a figure pretty much. And what I have is I have these figures in here. In fact, I do collect a lot of different accessories too on it too. Like backgrounds. Like for example, I'm going to put these guys in an industrial area or in a cartoonish area. I'm going to print out the background or draw it myself, paint it or something, duplicate it have them posed in there i just don't have the space right now you know i i'm trying to find different venues and different areas where i could put these suckers in it because of course if you try to put this in your house and you're married just like i am your wife says i say if it doesn't come with flowers or it's not very pleasing to the eye i don't want it here so it has to be in my man cave pretty much that's where i have to keep all this stuff and like i said some of the toys i bought were inexpensive like this this um t2 let me move these suckers on the side this you can still find it on the stores right now and t2s are inexpensive right now you know it's uh the uh, everybody loves the t t800 you know you can still find it this is 20 25 dollars i think in target you can still find them anywhere great stuff that they're bringing back in there and in fact like i said it has a lot of details it has the same amount of details as the larger version that I showed you earlier. In fact, you know what? Let me let me bring them side by side so you can see them. Oh, sorry, guys. The same amount of details as this larger one that has. This sucker has it, and I was very impressed because, like I said, this was a this is a one of a kind collectible that was sold in Universal Studio only. You couldn't find it in stores. It was only Universal Studios, either Florida or California. And I bought it from a collectible guy. So that's what he told me, but you never know. You know, this is a, it could be a bunch of bull crap. You know, just open the sucker up. Let's put them out here. I'm just going to leave his gun in there. And we're going to go a little bit more details on this one right here. And we're going to open this one. We're not going to take this one apart, too, but I'm just going to show you guys some of the stuff of the T-1000, T-8800, whatever it is. Keep naming different names, man. Correct me if I'm wrong, you know? I don't care. Just tell me. Now, the level of detail, let's get this guy unwrapped, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't. It's going to, oh, you're going to destroy the value. Oh, my God. This is 25 bucks. Relax, people, you know? I'm going to say this was 25 bucks it's not that bad i mean anything psh, i don't really care this probably was expensive but <laughs> i don't really care either you know uh, i i just like to enjoy them you know so i'm gonna show you this this is pretty cool and i was very impressed with this guy oh, come on come on he doesn't want to come out somebody scared him out there there we go there we go there we go look at this guy the detail let me bring the camera closer you guys can see a little bit more this is 25 bucks right so i like that they made details on him look at the shirt you could actually open the jacket up you could take this apart um seems like it they try to make a leather part in the back where it ties in but they didn't do it quite well right there they kind of glued it over but it seems like they were trying and the back you can see the bullet holes and there's actually caught um some metal in there that you can see some metal painting i don't know sure you guys this is $25, like I said, you know, and then his jacket came with actually a book, uh, um, like a belt area, you know, it's not bad. His boots move left and right on the back of it, and this is $25 compared to this sucker. This older, and the, the details that they have on this one 
is a little different, you know? Like in the back, the bullet holes are the same, but there's no paint in there. It's not painted in there. You could actually see through the holes, kind of. Let me see if you guys can see. Not bad, you know? Uh, the T-1000 has this head here um, that has details, but it's not realistic here. I, I think I'm going to repaint this, too. I might just go back and repaint it. The bullet holes on, on this neck are so cheesy. I, I don't like it. I like the stain that they, the LED lights. The eyes turned on on this sucker. Um, this is a rush job. Look at this. It just doesn't seem as better as this one, to be honest. I'll be honest with you. Uh, this one actually has less details than the actual this one right here. Yeah, the metal piece, I might repaint this again, make it a little more metallic, more realistic. Because um, the, the the level of uh, details is very poor, very shitty, to be honest with you. Uh, I wouldn't, I'm going to redo this guy and repaint him. Um, because I'm not happy with this stuff. So I am going to redo this stuff. Even the level of details on this corner here. Where they put the actual um, face where he was missing some meat and stuff like that in your grates. It's really cheesy. It seems like it's a, it's a knockoff, you know. And it, of course, maybe it was where where they're making it, like, you know. It just, it took maybe a long time. And um, they just, it's a Chinese made, of course. Made in China and Taiwan, whatever it is. This is made in China. China! China! This is made in China. So some guy was like, Chinese, um, um. Person number one, oh, my thing is done next. You know, my thing is not next. You know, it's just they don't have level of detail. Some of these companies, like the Tom McFarlane, too, it's, it's becoming so cheesy, too. Any Tom McFarlane toy, if you guys know Tom McFarlane, he was a creator of, um, of a Spawn and he also did um, Spider Man, you know, series, very famous series. And if you guys don't know, he also did DC, all right? So, very famous Tom McFarlane, millionaire, billionaire, all right? Actually, he was one of the guys that bought one of the baseballs during the time of the home run derby. Or not the home run, but it was a home run chase with, um, hold on, here comes the chopper, I'm going to put you on mute. Sorry guys, get a bird just passed over here. Yeah? So, Tom McFarlane became super rich, not on the comic books. He hardly made any money on there, but he did make a lot of money when he bought. He was part of partners with Image, and during the time of Image, he actually opened up even New Horizon. He owned every character, and if you ever know about the history of Image, it's in YouTube. You can find everything in there. Um, all these famous artists came out of there, but he was one of the smart ones that started his toy industry. If you guys know, I collect a lot of Tom McFarlane too. He does the Walking Dead, a lot of the Halo stuff. He does all the football players, all the baseball players that people didn't even think about it all the kobe bryans that i have in here in fact you know let me bring one out right now yeah let me bring a kobe bryan out uh where are you kobe well i don't have kobe right here but i'll have i'll show you guys this is a talk my farm toy right here the walking dead and this is pretty good i like it you know the sword's a little cheesy they should have put some blood on it but Tom McFarlane took advantage of this stuff and he ended up buying, making tons of hundreds of millions of billions of dollars, you know, that he was well known. And he, and one thing I learned about him, he was like, you know what? Think out of the box. It's been done. And he said in one of his videos, he was talking about, it's been done before. Like when he started doing Spider-Man, one of the series, one of his famous, if you guys don't know who Tom McFarlane did in the Spider-Man series, one of the best comic book series I ever seen before. So what he used to do, he used to do spaghetti on the spider webs, you know? And the editors didn't like that. They just wanted a single freaking line on it. But it wasn't realistic. Venom and Spawn? Uh, I don't know about Venom. I don't know if it was Venom him. Uh, I think Venom was... It might not be him. I'm not quite sure, but I'll look. I mean, you might be right, right? So, what happened was this guy... He created a spaghetti. Instead of doing one straight line like everybody was doing the Spider-Man, he did spaghetti and he went random and people thought it was more realistic, more real. He didn't change anything. He just made it better, pretty much. And that's what he was doing. He says, when I start creating these toys, I just... I didn't make them. They were there already. I just made them better. You know, I got the characters, realistic characters, and made them. So... 
now he's it's a little cheesy now the toy line i seen it's not the greatest now and they're they're expensive don't get me wrong i still have the spawn number one he actually signed my comic book and he signed my figure the spawn right i have him signed i was a big fan um uh, i got his leaf Lil. if you guys know uh, rob leafill he's another uh, not a very good comic artist but he was a smart guy with his toy lineup too um if you guys know george locus or a story is the same thing George Lucas was first Star Wars is like, you know, hey, you know what? I don't want to get paid. I'll get paid this much. Just let me have all the shirts and all that toys. And, and the company say, sure, sucker, here you go. Next thing you know it, this guy became super billionaire, millionaire, twice folding because of the inventory, all the toys and everything. They were so back cataloged for maybe three or four years before people got their actual toys and stuff like that. Part one, part two, part three series came out. All these movies came out. Not part three. We're talking about part four, you know. And on beyond, if you guys know Star Wars, what I'm talking about. It was just one of those things that people became super rich on the toy industry. Now, like I said, these were probably made in the same factory. Flame. What's up, Rev of Flame? How you doing? This was made in in the U.S. Oh shoot, this was made. No, no, I'm sorry, not in the U.S. This is made in China. It says China, distributed by U.S. Same thing, U.S. and China. The China, the both of them. So figures here are pretty much similar, but this level of detail is poor, shitty, poor on the bigger Terminator. I actually like this one. It has more detail, level of detail, because they actually painted some of the bullets in the back of the jacket. Let me see if I could see. No, you could actually see some of the stuff in the back, but. Don't be trying to check in his butt, guys. I'm trying to check his back of his shirt, right? So, this 25 bucks. This was probably like 60, 70 bucks, I think it was. Uh, it's probably worth more now because it's a collectible. But like I said, the reason I went out there is because bread and butter, man. I wanted to get Megatron. That's all I wanted to do. I went to the expo, got Megatron, and that's pretty much what I wanted. You know, not the original, original Megatron. Uh, my next thing is to get Voltron. I mean, I'm going to get Voltron if you guys like Voltron stuff. Uh, I'm a big Voltron fan. Not the first Volt, not the second Voltron, the first one, which is the Lions. You know, I am pretty much of the Lion. The second one was more of the vehicles. It was more of sorry little things. You know, they had the submarine, the chopper, and the airplanes. Didn't like that. So I'm going to stick to original. Like I said, this is nine and a half and nine inches on this one. So this was walmart kmart you can find them anywhere if you could find them if you could find them i'm not going to tell you if you can't because um uh, you might not be able to find them in stores all right so if you're lucky you're you know ebay maybe um amazon might carry them now this character the megatron the actual gun megatron all right you cannot find them in any um big stores because they don't want uh, you know these that look like real guns pretty much you know and this guy transforms into a whole real gun uh this is japanese version it's licensed by them they make a lot of third party um uh, characters they do spider-man they do a lot of characters but they do get licensed and they're they're pretty big but they're very expensive you're gonna pay up this was 200 bucks this character itself but the level of detail it, it's just the next top level of details man if i went through the whole thing already and showed you guys a little background of exactly even like a, even to the eyes like i said the metallic red in there you know pretty badass little things uh auto the, the back of it's not that much details compared to what you see in optimus prime optimus prime in the back that has more level of details on there they actually have another shell on the back so I guess you could transform it into different formats because this seems like another leg too. So, and like I said, he has a trailer built in. The whole trailer is with him. It's not like he has to carry the trailer. Like in the original toy, the trailer will separate. And um, he has a lot more accessories because this one has a lot of different details on the gun, on the transformation. You need batteries for his cannon too. It's a laser and it, I think it's a projector. It shows like it's a projector in there. But the level of details is really good. I'm very impressed. Um, I am gonna. I, I can't wait to put the batteries in here. In fact, I'm gonna go look for some batteries as soon as the stream's done. See if I could get it up and running. I'm gonna do a time lapse on both of them. I'm putting them together today. We're just talking about what I got in the accessories. A lot of toys, and this is for Longstar because he wanted to see the level of toys that I got. I got a bunch of stuff. I hopefully I didn't. I didn't lose you guys. 
on all this stuff and thank you for all you four or five subscribers that just came in right now i appreciate you guys coming in and keep the show going and i think i'm gonna call it a stream today and if you guys had fun if you guys like stuff like this let me know hit me up i'm gonna bring some more i have a lot more boxes i just don't have the time to open them to be honest with you and like i said i know some people cringe when you open stuff like this but you only live once you know if you're gonna pass away and leave your toys to somebody else they might have not have the same value as you do they might see a dollar figure and they just or they might just toss it either way you know who knows you know so if you're gonna buy stuff out there and you you don't never open them or never enjoy them all right long star i'll see you guys later i'll see you on the next stream and thank you guys for coming and we'll be back in about now we're i would say to live streaming on some games we're gonna play i don't know if we're gonna play apex or or call of duty i'm still doing some evaluation on some of the systems that i have in here the nuke and uh also the what do you call it the zolpa zoltac zoltac uh, they're gaming boxes that are size of your hand so we're doing reviews on them i i'm unboxing them i'm taking them apart and i'm actually gonna do some gameplay on them and see how fast they work if they're even worth it uh, i'll let you guys know on the next stream we're working on it i'm not doing live stream on those i'm doing videos on those and we're also going to do another video on comparison on this camera that actually is filming here i got a new version of it there's two types of brio cameras and i want to thank everybody out there in fact you know one of those things that i was looking at i saw uh, one of the one of the youtubers i met today He's like, hey, I, I I saw your video. I saw, I know who you are. And I was so shocked that he saw my video because this, we're talking about this guy that has over 700,000 subscribers. I was like, wow. He goes, I, I, if you Google it, um, best web, uh, web streaming camera of 2019 or 2018, top notch man my video came out there i was so impressed with that stuff and, and that's where all the subscribers are coming from man so they're looking for streaming camera now that people are want to get back to the streaming and do some streaming i think it's becoming more popular it has um over a hundred thousand uh views and i'm not quite sure but it, 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 i want to thank everybody and thank you guys for keeping it up and uh, i'll see you guys next time and we'll bring some more toys and you have been watching Late to the show, I'm your host, Prophet74, and we are out.